Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar. Pisces, welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is an eclipse season. Right around the third of the month, we will have the first of two eclipses. Now, it is going to be that first eclipse that opens up what the ancients called a portal of time in which the veil between the worlds was especially thin. And that allows us to access our own wisdom that much more easily and the wisdom of the ancestors. Now for you, it is going to be that first eclipse that is a solar eclipse that will speak to matters of heart. Now, of course, where it comes to love, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but we are looking at everything that you love in your life, what it is that you are passionate about, what it is that you truly want to do. It has to do with allowing yourself to feel like a big kid and the children in your life or the children that you want. It has to do with the creative endeavors in your life and how it is that you go about sharing them. With this solar eclipse standing across the sky from Saturn and speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune, there is that promise and that potential here to manifest a life that feels more in alignment with what it is that you are passionate about. However, as much as there is that Neptunian miraculous energy that can gain momentum at this time, there's also a sense of possibly an uncomfortable moment, possibly with a friend, that is part of what sets the impetus for you making these more sweeping changes. Now, that connection with Saturn is what suggests that there may be either a power struggle, uh, it may feel as if someone else, again, it could be a friend or someone that you're connected to as a result of a group endeavor, who's trying to be the boss of you in some way. It can feel as if there's a need to compromise with another person in a way that you would rather not bother with because you are more focused on self. Well, know this, whatever it is that is transpiring with another, it is ultimately part of the wisdom that will help you to connect with what really matters to you on a level of heart what it is that you truly want to do and where it is that you've been spending a lot of time, a lot of energy on a lot of focus on what isn't really in alignment with your passion. Well, that is going to become that much more clear. Now, our passion isn't always what we think it is, right? We expect it to be this sense of living in, a, in an ease and a flow at all times. But the truth is that we can be passionate about things that challenge us in healthy ways. And that's part of what may awaken for you now. With this solar eclipse, uh, your fertility will be very high. So keep that in mind. If it is that you have children, you'll be uh, more focused on them, wanting the best for them. And this can be a time when you make some changes that actually aligns them with a more inspired future. That Neptunian energy is strong and it is a supreme blessing at this time, allowing you to feel that things can change very quickly and very much in a way that helps you to feel that great things are possible, that great things are happening, and that you are creating a momentum that feels like that flow I mentioned, that feels like it's touched by even miracles for some of you out there. And that is an energy that you want to trust. Those moments of challenge that could be there will ultimately lead you to an energy of ease. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, right around the 18th is when we are going to have a lunar eclipse. This eclipse is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and group endeavors where Saturn is already. In fact, Saturn is mighty close to this lunar eclipse along with Pluto and the South Node. Now, these energies together can be especially intense. In fact, I would say, just your average full moon, this would be the most intense full moon of the year. You add the eclipse factor, the intensity goes up that much more. Now this energy is one that suggests your emotions may be running high where it comes to, again, it could be a particular person, a friendship. It could be a group endeavor that you are participating in or someone within that. 
But this is ultimately an energy that, yes, it is karmic. We've also got Neptune harmoniously speaking to this configuration as well. It's karmic, meaning that the changes that happen, its time has come, but it's also consequential. And just because it's karmic, just because it is in alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life, doesn't mean that you may be spared from navigating what might be a tough circumstance with another person. And I'm so sorry to say that, but essentially what this is, is the truth. The truth about what your alliance really is, how you really feel about it, and which friendships have served their purpose in your life, what group alliances you have have served their purpose, and where it is now that you're ready to grow. You're ready for more or to be different or to in some way expand your sphere, expand your circle, to know a different set of people. This can be truly powerful in that it is ultimately the people in our lives that reflect us back to ourselves. And as you see another person differently, or as you see a particular dynamic differently, it means that something within you has changed. Something within you is different as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, it is going to be that eclipse, right? The first eclipse, that solar eclipse, that speaks to matters of romance and flirtation. The day after that solar eclipse, Venus moves into that part of the sky. It's a Mercury retrograde month. Part of that Mercury retrograde will happen in this part of the sky as well. So there are a few things to keep in mind here. Just as a general rule, when you have Mercury retrograde in this part of the sky, you are one of the signs who needs to remember that breakups that happen during this time tend to not stay broken up. Um, they can be based on misunderstandings. But we've also got this sense of new beginnings and we've got ease here thanks to Venus. We've got a heightening of romantic energy that I think you will enjoy. If you're open to meeting someone new, well, if there ever was a month to get your flirt on, this really would be it. If there ever was a time when you would be surprised by a flirtation, this would be it, especially around that eclipse. Now, it might even feel a little bit unsure. It might even be a little bit of a reality moment for you where you're like, oh, this is happening. This is something that I didn't realize was even a possibility. And that may have you looking at your own vulnerabilities, but you will find a way to navigate this. And the other layer of this, though, I would say is if you can, Mm, just know that with Saturn, it's like what happens romantically, a friend may have an opinion on it that may not be helpful. It might be helpful. It might be a needed perspective, but it might miss some important nuances that ultimately is up to you to decide. When you trust yourself and you go with your own flow and your own instincts, you go with that Neptune in your sign, you go with your inspiration, well, you'll be led towards experiences that are not only of your own choosing on one level, but also end up being that much more meaningful to you as well. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, this is powerful energy for dating, just dating on one level. Uh, can be very blessed this month. And if you are dating someone, uh, this can be a time when it feels that much more fun to be with them, thanks to Venus in particular. Uh, it can feel like things move very quickly, especially around that eclipse. Now, the other part of this, though, is that if you're just getting to know someone, it doesn't really feel like it's anything just yet. This could be actually connecting with someone brand new and realizing the difference in what you feel. And then that in turn will lead you to make different choices. For those of you who are uh, in an established bond, um, you know, this is where you are wanting to enjoy romance with this person more, wanting to cultivate uh, moments that are memorable for the two of you together that much more. It is important with a sky like this that you protect the relationship, protect the bond that you have. Because again, it can be uh, by sharing with a friend um, some dynamic or some situation within your relationship that you get advice or perspective or feedback that misses important nuances that actually matter. Um, 
it is so important under this sky to trust your own inspiration and your own intuition it is so strong now especially around this eclipse and when it is that you're going with that when it is that you are trusting yourself and have a sincere desire to enjoy the company of your partner well this is a month that can hold a lot of truly fun experiences and memorable experiences for the two of you what i love about this month for you well of course it's the eclipses right what else could it be it is a very notable eclipse month and it is a month really where there is a lot of fun on offer yes there will be moments where you'll need to take a step back moments where it's like okay there's a bit of a reality check going on but reality doesn't have to be a bad thing reality can actually be really beautiful and inspired reality can be hopeful and exciting you've got that promise now that promise of tapping into the power of your heart and seeing how when you trust it so much can change for the better well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy